All right, so now that everything's been trimmed, or you know, sanded nice, the next thing I need to do is I want to be able to put a miter on this in a way that allows me to cope back the underside of it. So I just need to be able to, need to hold it well enough to cut a miter. In this case, it would be, I guess, like that. Yeah, like that. And it's just tricky because I need to hold it just right. And so what I've decided, instead of a miter gauge or any of that, I'm just going to make a sled real fast. And go for about three quarters, just a tiny bit over. And then I can sneak up on it. Take that. Go this one. This edge better? Yeah, that edge is better. I'm going to lower this. I don't need it up so high. I'm just going to make a tiny purpose-built sled here. Just a real quick sled. Okay, so we're going to call this. That's a good slot, okay? Yeah, that'll work. No, no um, sensible, no noticeable, no detectable. That's the word on it, detectable play. Now, the other piece of this we're going to do is I want to make a base, and I'm just going to use some more of this, three qu this quarter inch stuff. I don't need it very tall. And so we're just going to try to clean out our slots a little here. And uh, I'm going to put down these guys and set this on it and see how we did. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So just put a, put a pair of these little spacers down in there. I'm actually just do, I have enough of them, I'll just do two. Okay. And that'll give me some place for glue to go. I want to make a spot for the squeeze out to land and not be on my cast iron. Take this as my base, and it won't really matter. I'm just going to try to get it roughly in the same spot, right around in there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. I'm just going to do a couple of drops of the gloop. This would be enough to hold it in normal kit situations, no matter what. There's no need for a full line and a pile of it to squeeze all over the place. Just putting a couple of spots down here. And then we can set our base down on it. And I'm just picking a spot. It doesn't really matter where it is center-wise. About like that. Okay. Now, go grab some weight. Just stack it. Just stack it on here. Got these lead weights from a friend who does reloading. It's very handy to have them. And just leave that there to chooch. Okay, while I wait for that to dry, I've got my square corner made. I just cut it and marked it. Need a handle of sorts. So I've just got this little scrap of, I think this is maple. Might be maple, could be birch. I think it's maple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's maple. Anyway, got this little trip, chunk of maple, and uh, I'm just going to take it and pick a spot. I've kind of marked out a center point, and then I'm just going to lay it down right here, and that's going to be my handle. We'll never put the blade past about this point, so that should be safe, and that gives me a nice grip. So, 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 so it's time for some glue. Um, I'm actually going to... It's going to move around. As soon as I put that glue on, it's going to slide all over hell. So I need to make it so it doesn't do that. Um, I think I will do something like maybe just clamp it, throw in a staple. Maybe I'll do that. Be right back. All right. Well, I missed the camera part of this, but I did a, 
did shoot just a single staple in just now. And now we can just eyeball and do the second few. Don't even need glue in this case. It ain't going anywhere. There we go. That's fine. That'll hold. Now I've just got to get these bumps off because I'm about to glue it down. So I need the bumps out of there. So I'm going to go sand it. Where's my sander? Prepping weapon, where are you? Right here. That ought to keep it good and flat. Yeah, it is. That's good. That's good. Now I'm going to take it over the bandsaw real quick and cut this excess off because I don't need the excess in my way. I don't need it for clamping. It's not useful. So we're just going to pull this off. Slicey slices. pieces together I want to see how well the staples do where they end up so this will go hey you gotta move the camera dummy Hold on, idiot. all right so in an attempt to prevent the stuff from slipping around I'm gonna just drive a couple of these really small small really small nails in that'll keep it from sliding all over heck I'm gonna put this one out near the tip so that it can get cut by the kerf Actually, let's do all of them that way. I'm just getting them started here so that I can tink them down further and hold the part when I go to glue it on. That's just enough. That's in just enough so that it doesn't uh, slide around. I'll put another one right here. Two ought to take care of the task, but Gotta hold it just right. This one's not gonna get cut by the kerf, but that's all right. Okay, and then this one I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put right down at the end. Should be able to, actually, you know what? Two is gonna be fine. Two will hold us in place. I just need it to, what I'm worrying about is when I get glue on here, this thing's gonna slip around all over hell. And I can now position it where I want it with the glue and then drive a nail and keep it from sliding all over the place. Or so the theory will be. I'm going to need that hammer. Um, so I'll come back in a minute when uh, this glue's had more time to set up and then we'll get that jig set up. Okay, I think the jig is ready to be taken to the next step now. Let's take all the lead off of here. And this side. Probably got some squeeze out to deal with as well. We'll see. Oh yeah, we taped it down. Okay, that feels all right though. I think we can we can safely move ourselves this blue squeeze out here. Make sure we have all of that clear. Now let's get all of this out of here. And we got blue underneath, but that's okay. Take care of that right this moment. All right, now our sled should, in theory, drop right in. And it's snug this way, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect. I want it to not be super simple, super easy to push through. I want a little bit of resistance and I got it. Okay, next step is to glue this little guy on wherever center, wherever the kerf's gonna be. So I'm just gonna put a little kerf in here. I'm just gonna take and mark a square line down that center of that kerf so I can get a line down this way as well. Let's pop it out here. Look at that. Careful we don't uh, injure that. There we go. Okay. We're going to try our darndest to uh, 
45 off of that thing. We'll see. Nope, you gotta hold it straight or it won't work, dummy. Let's try this way. like that and like this and these are just alignment marks I'm just doing this so that I can pay attention when I put the top on the fence so I can pay attention to making sure I get it reasonably close to square with the blade because the squarer it is the closer a single will be and we just put this like this yep that'll work beautifully Okay, now we are ready to apply some more glue, but I want to get the glue ready first. And I'm also going to take some sandpaper and rough this side up. Okay, Oop, easy there. Now, I kind of want to come back a ways, now that I think about this, because I need a I need surface. So, what I think I shall do is put the marker there. Where did I throw my square? Here here like that okay yeah I can just do that glue put some glue all up in it that's going to be way more than enough glue which is perfectly fine Ugh, I made a mess. Okay. Okay. And we'll just go to the other side here and then. Put the nail right there. Put that nail right there. Like that, okay. Now, more weight, please. All over this. Okay, that is now not nearly enough glue in the right spots there so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some clamps out here this down, put this down, just stick this in the slot. Damn it! Yeah, a little bit ticked. My hope is I can use this one. Okay, let's put a little more glue down here because clearly an hour was not long enough for this one. It was stressed too much. I should not have stressed it so much. Now, I'm hoping I can use the one I've got on here. There. Of the runner chunk right above this runner chunk chunk a 
hope I've got some in here. I don't. I've been pumping nothing. La 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 la. Okay. Now I can slide it out of here and not worry too terribly awful much. Wow. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then we can start here and put all of our. Actually, no. We'll slide you out of the way. Slide you into the ways. Now I can have all the weight back on here where it goes. All right, now we've got some weight on them, and those things are stapled, mm -hmm. so they'll glue, they'll slide. As long as this still slides, we're in good shape. We are now in good shape. And the kerf is still where it belongs. And then I can flush trim out. Okay. That is emergency recovery mode, is what happened there. Ugh. That was a pain in the ass. Okay, so my mitering sled is not quite done yet. That means I cannot do this molding, probably not today. I'm just gonna leave it so it dries all day. Yeah. I am going to, however, slide this up and try to remove some of that glue that is all up in this thing. Yeah, we're gonna, we're going to get some water and some cleaning time here. All right, that's enough for today. Ah. Okay, next morning, <clears throat> that glue is definitely dry now. Just put the, take these, the lead bits off of here. Okay, next morning, <clears throat> that glue is definitely dry now. Just put the, take these, the lead bits off of here. I do have a little bit of rust on my surface of my table saw, and I'm a little cranky about that. But I kind of had a chance, had an inkling it was probably going to happen no matter what I did. And it did. All right, that's done. Okay, our parts are now securely fastened. Yeah, because I can't even pull that off of there. That's good. That's actually, actually great. Take that one off. Take that one off. And there's a center one in here holding that one on. Of course, I just snap it. There we go. Okay, now I gotta fix my rust spots here that are annoying to me, but we now have a slidey. It's a slidey slidey. We just need to uh, pull these nails out now. I like it and I like this. Okay. Now, slidey slidey. But, yeah. Miter sled. That's all that is. So I'll use it as as such. I will take my I will take my part and I will hold it against the fence here, and it will shoot 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 and it'll cut. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that, but anyway. All right, welcome back to the shop. It's been a few days. We have epoxy that is dry and ready to be scraped flush. Um, I'm gonna take it with the plane first, Dave's famous plane. And just come back after it with a nice and sharp scrap air. Sharp would be good first. My kingdom for a sharp scraper. There we go. There we go. Nice and filled. Now we cut. <sighs> there we go. 
now I can scrape the rest of this. Good actually, there's a good one. Pretty. That looks good. Okay, so now the only other piece before the glue up can happen, I think, I think, I'll think about that a few times before I actually do it, is I want to get the burn marks off of the insides of the style, just because now's a better opportunity than later. And I realize, I'll, for the most part, all I have to worry about is the veneer layer burn because the rest of it's going to be covered either by joinery or by trim. So I'm not terribly concerned. There's a couple of spots that would benefit heavily from... I wish I could use super glue right now because there's a couple of spots where this veneer is splintering a little bit. I think I'm going to wait until I get the molding in there before I worry about it too much. And just give the areas that are going to show a little bit of attention and drop, drop stuff. I think I'm going to do that with the scraper instead. I think I can scrape this stuff clean. Yeah, that works way better. Yeah, that's speedy compared to the sandpaper. And it's not really going to affect the joinery much. I'm taking a whisper, a whiffer thin shaving. There we go. And again, I don't have to go all of it. All of it is not a big deal because most of it is going to be invisible. I'm just taking a little bit off where I know it will be visible, where it will be seen where it isn't going to get covered by the molding. This area got dented. I think I want to fix that. There's some pretty hefty dents in there. Um, I think I'll pull out the iron and fix that at some point. This doesn't take much time at all, just cleaning it up, making it look nice. There's a spot there. I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. Alright, so you can see right here a little burn mark. Um, and what happens though, it, well, ignore this stuff. This was some denting that I got to deal with. But So what happens is the panel will go in and our little trim piece will go on and you can still see that a little burn mark. Let me get the shadows out of the way. I see that little burn mark right there. So what I'm going to do is fix that. It takes very little effort. It took more time to describe the problem than it does to fix it. Just take a scraper and now it's gone. Nothing to that. I'm going to fix these dents now here. Alright, usual, usual drill. Got the cloth, got the spray bottle, got some iron, got an iron with some heat. There's a really good dent here. These ones aren't so bad. I'm going to do these first and just get things soaked. Takes a little bit for it to soak in. Okay. Just a little heat takes care of the job here, usually. And hopefully does not delaminate my glue. starting to delam that veneer so I'm gonna get a tiny clamp on it and then I'm gonna let 
let that chooch a bit just to cool it off. This side looks fine. Doesn't look like that got delammed. And I think it's um I think it's fixed is what I'm trying to say. I think it's finished. It's time to I'll just take a sample. Clean box to it a little bit. Oh yeah, I can live with that. It has other flaws that are worse elsewhere. Just fine. Yeah, we can live with that just fine. That's good. That'll do beautifully. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to let this one get some time for that veneer to resettle a little bit. And then uh, I'll sand it as flush as I dare. Yeah, the veneer expanded just a tiny bit, so we're going to want to give it a little little love. Yeah, I'm going to let that let that set up nicely and then we'll bring it back. Okay, so we are ready to do the glue up. Um, I'm going to run through a dry run first. I'll do an assembly and essentially I'm going to take it from the top down. I'm going to start by putting the steel hanging me mechanism in with some epoxy. Um, just some five, or I think it's 15 minute epoxy, whatever it is, five, 15 minutes, whatever. Um, put that in here and then with Tetbind 2 for the rest of it, we'll do everything else. The panel is getting glued in because it's an MDF core veneered, so it's stable and I can glue that in. But I want to make sure I don't smudge a bunch of glue over the surface of the panel in the show spots. So there's a specific sequence I'm going to work out. I'll do that when I do the dry fit. But basically, I'm going to put the, basically build it from the top down. So I'm going to put the, put this one in first, and I'm going to slide the panel in this way so that any glue squeeze out goes into the slot. <clears throat> and then I'll put the middle and the bo bottom panel and then the bottom on um, and basically get everything lined up and it's essentially going to be under clamps from the very start. Um, the whole thing will be clamped up from here on. Um, it's going to get a little bit wonky with the clamping pressure but anyway. Yeah, we're ready to do this. Um, let me run through a dry run real quick. Any lessons that I've learned or anything there, um, and then I'll get us ready to do the gluing itself. All right, first step is we're going to make up some epoxy for the steel bits to go in. Um, and I've just got this 15 minute stuff. This way. Okay. Slip this little booger on down into. Slide this little, I didn't, it's a little bit polished, so the glue is really only there for belt suspenders because. That ain't going anywhere. And the epoxy on that side is good. Now, I guess I kind of have to do the, put the glue here somewhat, the epoxy. Okay, now we'll just start gluing, I think. Yeah, just start gluing. I'm gonna drizzle glue down into the, the epoxy down into this hole here without making it fall, would be good. And just making sure I get enough down in there. I made way more than I needed. But that's quite all right. I'm just going to slather a little bit on this surface here to be somewhat thorough. And what the heck, why not there and there and put some down inside of it too. Hmm. Now we can do the real gluing. So I'm going to put a bunch right here. And then I'll get the brush down in there. Get some on the ends. And just slather in the glue all over. I was 
saying. I'm going to worry about something, but I'm not worried now. I'm worried more about clamps at this point. Okay. Let's drive you home. Let's get you right in the center here. Just start driving. This is not the final clamp on this one. This is just getting us home. that epoxy squeezing out. Okay, now I'm going to take a final one here. Actually, that might be a good one to stay where it is. Put it here. And it's going to pick it up on that end, but it's all right. How are you flushness wise? Could use a little... Actually, I'm good with you. I'm absolutely fine with you right there. Okay, we're not... this set up for a little bit and then while it's still soft I'm gonna get the top the final rail the last rail on or the last style on it I came out all right I'm gonna play I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased I'm quite okay with what I've got as a result here this will be good it's a daggum door is what it is it's a daggum door all right I'll bring you back after about 20 minutes this has had some time to set and then I'll do the other side. Okay, so I've pulled it out of the clamps and I'm ready to put that final style on. I just do a quick little glue clean up here. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that'll be okay. I think I've got enough thickness I can work with. Okay. I know you couldn't see all of it. Um, sorry, that was a panic, but we are now all clamped and my wrists are killing me. Um, Ah, letting it dry. We'll bring you back when it's done. Mm -hmm. 